That's a Nightmare Before Christmas Revisited album, Oogie Boogie Song. That's definitely Rodrigo and Gabriella. These, well, this is a tube amp, a hybrid tube. Let me quickly explain the purpose of a tube because people don't get it. If a tube sounds exactly like a solid state, a tube is not doing its fucking job. I've reviewed some very expensive tube amps in my day, and you know what? When they sound identical in cleanliness and everything is perfectly linear, exactly what a solid state would do, they ain't no point. And a lot of times people will have to, like, I want to get into tubes. Okay, um, full tube amp by the dark voice here. It's fine. It's great. It's under $300, but then you got to start rolling tubes because the actual tubes that come with are sort of like cheap. And you put some, and you know, I don't know which one to tell you to get. There's just, everyone has different likes and tastes and different headphones and different power requirements and different loads in the tubes and so on. It's confusing. So what if I said you could spend $75 on this, the SMSL SP100, and you basically know what a tube can do or should do because it's a hybrid, which means it's got a regular uh, solid state op amp driven amplifier in it and that tube is taking the signal from the back and it's running it through the tube for the preamp and then into the solid state amplifier now which is why the blondes are here because planars you really shouldn't run them on a tube because their resistance is so low that um tubes don't benefit or it actually makes things sound a lot worse so that's why my x2o x my x2o ta10 and ta20 are like those are like my three, four hundred dollar good hybrids for planars. And that's a perfect thing for dynamics. This is $75. And I just spent a little bit of time going with my Neumanns, which are a dynamic that I think sounds really, really good in a tube, kind of like my HD600s, which are in the other apartment on a tube amp. And then I've got these, the blondes, which are planar and sound really good on their own and I hadn't actually tubed them much. And what I just did was, and this is a little pairing, you could actually buy this pair on Amazon, the M100 DAC and the SP100 amp for like $135. That's cheap. Um, they're also slightly different tints of blue and they were both sent to me by SMSL, so keep an eye out for that. The worst in the different times, a couple weeks, a couple weeks apart, maybe a month. So I hopefully if you got a pair of them, they're the same, or you can get them in black. But I just spent time sitting here with these things and going <clears throat> full tube amp, full solid state, hybrid, solid state, hybrid, tube, solid state, tube, hybrid, Tube hybrid, tube hybrid, ah oh, shit. That's kind of close. It's kind of close. The fact that I'm saying it's kind of close. The adorability of this, and I will link to these RCAs, which are my favorite because they're so flexible. You can make little tiny loops if you felt like it. The back, two inputs, input one, input two, both RCA. 12 volt power transformer, here it is. Three amp, 12 volt. Little, little little wire comes off the back. That's the end. The front has a power button. It's covered in glass and fingerprints, as you can see. Blatantly, I've been playing with it. Let me just give this a nice, a nice wipe down. There you go. Just keep a keep a keep a rag around because you're gonna need it. You're gonna be on the rag all the time. And a volume knob with a little indicator, and that's it. Hit the power button, turns on. Um, I have one problem. I've had this for a while, and I've only ever used it on one input. And I want to switch to the other input just to see, is, is it hold the power button down? It doesn't seem to be that. Is it just press it once? It doesn't seem to be that. So I don't know actually how to switch to the second input on it. But it's got no bad reviews, and I can't download the manual for it, so I'm just assuming you can do that. It's just beyond me. Uh, what does a tube do, Zeos? You explained that tubes make shit worse is that what you're saying is the so you're saying that tubes make things worse no tubes should just sound different if i play this song and it is a, a piece of music 
And then I switch from this to a solid state. That should be more accurate. You should get every little piece of detail out of, obviously, 789's Great Amp. But this might, depending on your mood, depending on what you're listening to, depending on the time of day, the humidity, what you ate for breakfast, this might be more enjoyable. Even a little $70 <clears throat> Chinese tube with a stock little tube, a little blue LED in there, but you can see the tube is actually glowing, might be a more enjoyable listen than anything you've got going on. Solid state. Now, if I plug into here, hold on. That knock, hold on, we just had a knock. Let me see. Ooh, the width there. And then you plug it here. It, it, it sounds closer to the dark voice than the 789, and that's all I ask of any hybrid. Hybrid Hybrids should take the benefit of the ability to power anything from planar to dynamic, hard, easy, and then add some tubiness to it. Now, the specs on the webpage for this uh, don't bode well. In fact, I'm sure some people have looked at it and gone, how much power? 95 milliwatts at 32 ohm, 40 milliwatts at 150 ohm, which is what these are. 40 milliwatts doesn't sound like it's gonna push anything. And yet here I am at not even half volume playing my Neumanns, which are 150 ohm, and it's fine. So I don't quite know why the output power is listed so low, because it feels more than that. I'm just gonna say it feels more than that. I will tell you if it's underpowered. I've had amps where I put a hard drive pair of headphones on it and I'm on like 70, 80, 90, 93, 93 and a half percent to get like listenable and that's a weak amp. I can make these loud, lo that's, that's like loud, that's like unlistenably loud. So I, I usually say, look, trust measurements on like a DAC and I would say trust measurements on an amp, like certain measurements, but don't trust those measurements. I feel like those are off and to the detriment of the unit. Maybe they're listing that because the distortion levels are really low at those volumes. I, I don't know. Let's switch out to the planar, which doesn't sound that great in the dark voice. And these are the blonde B20s. I've made it to my wall in like a week. Amazing. Sandy Ivas should be on that wall too. I just don't have space for them. Actually, they're not here either. DMS still has them. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, again, 12 o'clock noon, playing blondes at, like, listenable volume. And now out, and now into a solid state. Bass thud, bass thud. I'm listening for very specific things. Everything just seems to last a little bit longer on a tube. Just just sounds hangover for milliseconds. And then things sort of just like open up. I've listened to cheap tubes and cheap hybrids that just sound compressed and terrible. Changing it to bad is not good. So this changes it, but doesn't make it bad. It's one of the better hybrids av literally available. I don't want to sound like I'm sucking its D too hard. But I should not, un I, did, I did a review, what did I do a review of it? Somebody came back to me and they messaged me and said, dude, you undersold this. The Topping PA3. The Topping PA3 amp is a remarkably clean desktop amplifier. I'm using the other apartment to break in the SX6s for the re-review. And it is like leaps above the next thing in its class. And I'm, I feel like this is in that same genre of I'm not going to, I don't want to sound like I'm shilling it because God knows everyone comes in and says, you just love everything. So that affects me when I start doing reviews. I'm like, all right, I'll just, I'll just tone it down a bit. Fuck that. This is Z reviews. Don't tone down anything. This thing sounds remarkable for $75. Now, like I said, you can get it in a combo on Amazon for 136 
or on its own for $76.99. So I lied. It's $76.99, which interstate 76 greatest game ever made. Just point that out. Uh, and then the M100, where the hell is the M100? Is also eighty dollars, so it'd be eighty dollars and seventy six dollars. You actually do have a little bit of a savings getting the combo. And the other thing I reviewed that's going to be put in the yard sale or giveaway. I didn't fucker. I was supposed to be in the yard sale this month. Anyway, I'll be getting that back from DMS at some point. That's the SA one hundred. That's the little stereo speaker amp. Look at it. Look at it. Bluetooth stereo speaker amp is the exact same form factor, a little bit deeper. But also comes in blue and blue. Oh, is, is there a combo for this too? Yeah, you can get the SA100 and the M100 also, but it's sold out, apparently. No, 150 bucks. You could get all three items, because there's just three items. And you could do DAC, and here's the thing. You see this barcode? See this QR code here? The reason this is on this is because this fucker came to our math. I showed off the M100 DAC at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. What was it in? It was on the um, near field room, I think. What were you powering? You were powering something at RMAF. I'd have to go look at my diagram. I honestly don't remember where. It was either on the headphone section or in the near field listening room. I think it was the near field listening room. You know what this might have been? This might have been on the iLoud micros. I'm thinking. Thinking that's where this was. No! Stop. We're just talking about the topping PA3. It was M100 into the topping PA3, and that was powering the goddamn uh, Paradigms, the monitor SC Atoms. So that whole near field setup was pushed by this. I trust this DAC. See, I'll send you a DAC for $100. Here you go. This or an OL DAC from JDS Labs. Or Sanskrit? It's another SMSL DAC? I mean, Gashelli doesn't offer a cheap DAC yet. They're coming back with another cheap DAC. But it's like, th that's good enough for our math. And this, if I would have had this for our math, I would have probably put it on the table. And I would have run anything off it. Because it's just enough. It's just enough. It's not too, if this was $150, I'd be like, look, that's expensive. Buy a real tube amp, buy a little dot, buy something, and then you can start playing with tubes. I don't even want to change the tube in it. Like, I should want to swap tubes, but I know that's going to be a nightmare. And I'm sure people who are watching this are thinking about, well, I can get that for $75. I bought tubes more expensive than $75, and I could try it. And Zio says it's pretty good. It's not a the inputs, but I mean, it's got a quarter inch jack, and it's really pretty. And you could mount this into a lap. You could mount this into a suitcase. It's so small. And actually, the fact that it's 12 volt, ooh, 3 amp. I wonder if you get a battery pack and just get another one of these as a battery pack. So you can have three of these units. Run the DAC, run your headphone out, tube amp, and then run your speaker out also. Because, I mean, you have to probably get a splitter. But, oh, what a cute little desk setup. Right now, we've only got two blue things. You could have three blue things. So, yeah, um, highly recommended highly recommended this little tube amp. I'm amazed at the, because it's not just tubiness, it's clarity and tubiness. A lot of times you get it and it just doesn't sound very good and this sounds excellent. It sounds like it's doing exactly what I want a tube amp to do. And if I put this in a box, beep. If I put this in a big box and I had another tube amp in another box and I switched plugs, I didn't know which was which, I'd have a hard time. I'd still probably pick on a certain headphone a full-on tube, but this is 73% of the way there, and I'm impressed by that. Anyway, that's enough for this, right? Have we talked about these enough? The, the, the difference in color is the only real negative. I kind of like the tubes blue more. This is more like a purple when you're really looking at it, although I like purple. I'm assuming it'll be fine. They're probably just weird samples. All right, so yep, this and this linked in the description. Uh, this cable, which, let's undo that twist in it. You could just leave like that if you really felt like it. Put it on either side of like your monitor stand. This cable, which I think is 10 bucks for the pair, but it's so flexible, is linked in the description. She's in the description. $2 a month gets you into the Patreon that gives you the link to every one of these, ever, every wallpaper ever used. 
five dollars puts you into the yard sale. Now here's the thing. When SMSL sent me this, they also had to send me this later because they wanted me to do it as a combo because they sell the combo. I'm probably gonna put both of these in the yard sale. So from the first to the tenth of every month, if you've seen if you're watching this video brand new and it's October, November the first, I will announce my yard sale. If you're in my Patreon already or join my Patreon at the five dollar level, you get to bid on this. So you don't want to pay seventy five dollars for this. Yeah, I don't want to pay seventy five dollars for that. I want to pay forty one dollars and eighteen cents. You bid on it, you win. If you're continental United States, I ship for free. If you're international, uh, I pay half of the shipping. So if you paid five dollars, then you bid forty dollars. That's forty five dollars plus you got to pay half shipping. So it probably cost you about the exact same you would if you were an American. So that's another option. Uh, the ten dollar Patreon tier, by the way, gets you into a private Telegram chat. Bunch of cool guys. They get all the behind the scenes stuff. If you ever want to ask me a question directly, that's the most guaranteed way I will answer your question. Reddit, I barely go to anymore. YouTube comments, good luck. Uh, Patreon, even Patreon comments, even the five and two dollar tier. Patreon messaging is garbage. That's why I bring in everyone to Telegram. My Discord is like no man's land. I go there occasionally just to stir up shit. But I do have a full Discord. Um, yeah, so this is enough for this. I think we're good with this. Um, if anyone has swapped tubes and done any experimentation with this, or even, I wonder if you could swap op amps. Please let me know in the comments below. Below, below. And uh, bravo, ASMSL. You've, um, you've outdone yourself with this little guy. I thought this was gonna be the best in the lineup, and it might still be, but mm, one of these two is amazing, or more amazing.